Gucci. Welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. And if you are a mother, happy Mother's Day. I'm wishing you the very best. I hope you had a fantastic day or are having a fantastic day and got to do something that you truly enjoyed doing. It is Jody Dunn, and I am coming at you with my Sunday Walgreens haul. Love to go to Walgreens on Sunday, and this Sunday was no exception. Although, I was quite busy today, so I will definitely be back to Walgreens this week because I didn't do a whole lot. Um, I'll tell you about it in one second. If you are new and you just found the channel, I'm so happy that you are here. Would you please let me know that you are new and say hello to me right down there so I can welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. I would love to hear if you're having a great day. Let me know down in the comments or let me know if you are planning on doing any Walgreens shopping this week. Uh, we got the big guy. The big guy, he's passed out. It's been it's been a busy couple of days for the big guy. So my dad came in town. Uh, I'll pop a picture up on the screen for you. Me and my dad, I haven't seen him in over a year. He lives um, a couple hours away, about two and a half hours away from me. And, you know, with everything going on with the pandemic, we didn't get together for Christmas this year, and it was just a bummer. So anyways, he came down. He wanted to come see me for my birthday, which was awesome. And he wanted to meet his new great-grandson. So I had him here. He stayed the night. Um, and then Grayson and Edward and EJ came over last night, so it was awesome. And then my dad left around, I don't know, around 10 a.m. this morning to go home. And I had my mom over at noon for lunch and uh, Grayson and Edward and EJ came back over. Oh, look at how dang cute EJ was today. I mean, he's cute every day, but Grayson put him in this super cute outfit. He's, oh gosh, I just adore him. So anyways, it's been a busy couple of days. So I didn't have a whole lot of time to do shopping today, which is totally fine because I had a great time with my family. Uh, I want to give you a couple updates. Number one, we got an awesome booster. It is a booster that is good for two weeks long. Every single person got it. It's also right in the Walgreens ad, so you can have the cashier scan that if for whatever weird reason you're the one account that wasn't able to clip it digitally, but I'm pretty certain it went out to every account. This booster is a tiered booster. So it is spend 100, earn $30 in Walgreens cash, spend $40, earn $10 in Walgreens cash, or spend $25, earn $5 in Walgreens cash. You will only earn one reward per transaction. It is a multi-use, so it's gonna be good for two weeks, and you can earn up to $90 in Walgreens cash back using that particular booster over the next two weeks. How fantastic is that? The other update I wanted to give you, I did post on the community tab just in case you didn't see that. Uh, last week, we did a huge fire deal on the Listerine. We made a whole bunch of money. So many of you had absolutely great success with that promotion. A few of you did not get your $10 register reward. I have had several send me a copy of your receipt and every time I take a look at a receipt, I see the problem right away. And it's that one of the products you did not buy was not part of that one particular promotion of spend 30, earn a $10 register reward. It may have been part of the spend 10, earn $5 in Walgreens cash on Listerine, but it wasn't part of the $10 register reward. So again, you have to be really careful that you're grabbing the right products. Now, if you did purchase exactly the right products, you're positive, and you still didn't get your $10 register reward, it means your Catalina machine probably was down, which unfortunately happens from time to time. I've, I've had one store, that thing was up and down for about four or five months. It was the biggest pain in the butt. Whenever I'd go in there, I wasn't sure if the Catalina was going to print my register rewards or not. If you do not get a register reward, you would follow the same procedure that you follow Whenever you don't get a register reward, 
personally for me, I ask for the manager. I let them know about the promotion. They typically will issue me Walgreens cash. You can also reach out to customer service. Customer service may credit you Walgreens cash. Uh, or you can submit a ticket to Catalina. Just Google missing register reward. It will come right up. That's all I do. Google is your friend. You can find all kinds of information on the Google um, and submit a ticket for a missing register reward. I typically, I think there's only been one time that Catalina denied my request. Every other time they mail me out my register reward. Um, so follow procedures like normal. I have also had a ton of questions on how long does it take to get your rewards through Listerine and through Care Club. So I told you in the first video I posted about this Listerine promotion, the first receipt that I submitted to the Listerine um, Visa gift card promotion, or you can pick other gift cards as well, um, was approved within like two hours, my first one. I sent that receipt in on Monday before anybody else knew about this deal or hardly anybody knew about this deal. By the time I posted my video on Tuesday, a whole bunch of you now know about the deal. So remember, when you are submitting to a company for a rebate back and they are being inundated with submissions, it's going to take longer for your receipts to be approved. I can remember six, nine months ago, there was, I think it was a Neutrogena um, promotion which is the same company, it took two weeks because there were so many submissions and they were so far behind. So be patient. My second receipt did get approved within three days and my third receipt has also been approved, but it may take four, five, six days. So be patient with that. And you can always look on Listerine's website and find a somewhere where it says contact us. Now, Care Club, I did let you know, I'm really brand new at Care Club. So pretty much all the information that I know about Care Club, you can find the exact same way I found by going on their website. They did deny my dang receipt. So I had to file a ticket. So I filed a ticket. I got a response back saying that they have received um, my request and they have escalated it to their research department who will be getting back with me and to please be patient that it may take a few days. No problem. I can absolutely be patient. So I don't know if you have submitted any of your receipts to the Care Club. Again, I am new using this. Did your receipt get rejected? Let me know. I don't know if it's like a fluke thing. I'm not sure. So anyways, that is that. Hopefully that answers all of those questions that I have been getting. All right, so we are going to head into Walgreens and see what we're going to pick up for this Sunday's deal. You know we're doing the dang Listerine deal again, except for I mixed it up this time because there are more products included other than Listerine. And then we're also going to do an awesome spend deal where we get a super duper low out of pocket by using Walgreens cash on a spend deal and still earning our Walgreens cash back because I love getting low out of pockets. All right, let's head into Walgreens and then of course we will debrief at the kitchen table. If you enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you. Let's go grab these deals. All right, we are in the Walgreens and I am looking to do the Listerine promotion again. I think I have one more submission that I can make to Listerine because remember, that Visa gift card back is a limit of three. So I think this will finish me out. I checked last night on the website and it said this store had stock. This store had one. OMG. I got to figure out what I am going to do now. Because remember, there are literally only three Listerines that qualify for the $10 register reward back. I'm looking around the store to see if this store has a display like my other store did. And they do have this little Band-Aid display, but unfortunately it did not have any of the other products on it. So, yeah. All right, so I had to, because I do wanna do this deal, I had to grab one of the Listerine Total Care 
which is gonna leave my out-of-pocket higher, but that's fine. So I grabbed one of the 629 Listerines and one of the 879 Listerines. This is literally all my store had for Listerine. And remember the Listerine deal is spend 10, earn $5 in Walgreens cash. So now I'm gonna pick up some additional products so that I can also get back my $10 register reward. There is one only Neosporin that qualifies for the register reward. It is higher priced in the store than it is online, but it is this one ounce one that is $12.99. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I do have an only for you coupon, one for $2 off and another one for $2.50 off. So I'm not sure which one will come off. Now Neosporin and Band-Aid is also on a separate promotion of spend 15, earn back a $3 register reward. So I'm looking to earn back Walgreens cash for my Listerine, a register reward for spending $15 in Band-Aid and Neosporin products, and my $10 register reward for purchasing $30. These Band-Aids do not qualify for the $10 register reward. I picked up the wrong ones. I'm gonna show you the right ones in just a second. So I am at $35.75, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this paper booster of spend 30, earn $7 in Walgreens cash. And instead of using any coupons on my Listerine, I'm gonna go ahead and use these two $5 coupons or two $5 register rewards that I earned from the Bic deal last week. Okay, these are the correct Band-Aids. I'll pop a close-up picture up on the screen. They are the exact same price as the other ones. And all Band-Aid and Neosporin are actually buy one, get one half price this week. And again, all Band-Aid and Neosporin qualify for the spend 15, earn a $3 register reward but only these particular ones qualify for the spend 30 total, earn back the $10 register reward. Just like I did last week, I will post the link in the description box so you can go right on the website and see there's only about 13 or 14 products, I think, that qualify to earn back the $10 register reward. Now, along with using my paper spend booster, which we know we can never use any Walgreens cash to pay when we're using a paper spend booster from the Catalina machine, I will be stacking that awesome uh, digital spend booster that everybody got. And since I spent over $25 in this transaction, that will stack right along with the spend 30 earn seven. I also have a $3 digital coupon when I purchase two Band-Aid products that I will be using. And... Uh, there are, I bought a rebates on the Neosporin and the Band-Aids for, I think it's 50 cents back on Neosporin and 50 cents back on each one of the Band-Aids. So this is going to be an awesome transaction. I'm looking to earn back $5 in Walgreens cash because I spent over 10 on Listerine. $7 in Walgreens cash for my paper spend booster, $5 in Walgreens cash for my digital spend booster, a $3 register reward because I spent over 15 on the Band-Aid and Neosporin products, and a $10 register reward because I spent over $30 in qualifying products on that awesome promotion. All right, let's move on to our second transaction. All right, in this transaction, I want to complete my second fetch rewards bonus of spend 30, earn $10 back from Fetch. Uh, and I'm gonna stack the Shea Moisture deal again, just like I did last week. And just like I told you, everybody got that Fetch bonus. Even if you don't see it on your Fetch account, all you have to do is scan your receipt. Nobody didn't get that bonus, FYI. All right, so first thing we're gonna do before I grab the Shea Moisture is I wanna build my transaction up. Because again, this is a spend deal, so I'm gonna use Walgreens Cash to pay. My store is not tagged, but these Sherman are on sale for $4.95 this week. And when you purchase four, there are other products included, you earn back a $6 register reward. So I'm gonna grab these four. I have a, a one account that has the $6 off three digital coupon left, and I'm going to use a $1 off one digital coupon on the fourth one. And those $7 in coupons is gonna help me pay for my spend requirement not only on the digital spend booster that everybody got, but also for the spend 25, earn $10 in Walgreens cash on Shea Moisture products. So first thing I'm gonna pick up, there are several of the lotion and bath products included, and these are buy one, get one half 
priced. I'm gonna go for the cheapest ones, and this one looks pretty interesting to me, which is on this Shea Moisture Body Wash. I've never seen black body wash before, so I'm excited to try it. So they are $9.99, uh, and the second one's gonna be half off at $4.99. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some hair care products to this deal so that we can get up to our $25 to earn back our $10 in Walgreens cash and so that we can get up enough to earn back that Fetch Rewards bonus as well. Now the hair care is not on buy one, get one half price sale like the body products are. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these Shea Moisture Kids Detangler for $9.49. And then I'm gonna grab this uh, Curl Enhancing Smoothie for $3.99. So now in Shea Moisture products, I have a total of $28.46, which oddly enough, I need $28.46 to hit my second Fetch Rewards bonus. And I'm gonna go ahead and use these two $5 off two Shea Moisture coupons. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw in one register award and hope that my digital coupons off the Charmin still come off. But one of these babies that I earned last week from Listerine, the $10 register reward. So between my Charmin products and my Shea Moisture products, I have a total of $48.42. I have a $6 digital coupon for the Charmin, a $1 digital coupon for the Charmin, two $5 paper coupons, and my $10 register reward, which means I have $27 in coupons that the system will count as cash towards my spend deals. So I'll be able to use Walgreens cash for the remainder and have a super duper low out of pocket and still earn back all my Walgreens cash and my Fetch Rewards bonus. This is gonna be an awesome transaction as well. Let's head to the kitchen table and go over these receipts. All right, here we are back at the kitchen table with these two receipts, no, with these two transactions. And I'm just gonna tell you, I had a little hiccup in one and that happens sometimes. So I'm gonna go over that with you. So I wanted to do the Listerine deal again but adding in other products because there is more than just Listerine that is part of this spend 30 earn a $10 uh, register reward. And I believe if I'm understanding the Listerine's promotion correctly, right now all three of my receipts from last week have been approved and I have 9,216 points. It is a limit of three times that you can do the Listerine promotion and it doesn't all have to be on one receipt. So I believe I have, I can earn a total of 10,800 points. So once I submit this receipt, that will bring me up to 10,724 points on the Listerine's website and I'll be able to cash out for another $10 gift card. Oh my goodness. That Listerine promotion is so freaking hot. So I grabbed the two Listerine. I grabbed the Neosporin. This is literally the only Neosporin that is included in the promotion. And then I grabbed the two packages of Band-Aids. This is the only Band-Aid that is included, but it does come in two separate sizes. Again, you can check the website to know which products are included in on this spend 30 or any $10 register reward promotion. So let's take a look at my receipt. So I got the Neosporin at $12.99, and remember they are buy one, get one half price, so one of my Band-Aids rang up at half price because I didn't buy another Neosporin. There's my second Band-Aid at $4.99, and then there's my one Listerine for $6.29, the Fresh Burst, and then there's my Listerine Total Care for $8.79. Had the cashier scan the points booster I showed you in the store of spend 30, earn seven, um, my, all I had was two register rewards I was using. My $3 digital off of the two Band-Aids came off. My $2.50 versus the $2 came off on the Neosporin and my two $5 register rewards. So my subtotal was $20.05. So because I am using the paper spend booster, I cannot use Walgreens cash to pay. Now, technically, I could have used one more register reward to lower my out-of-pocket. Because I had five items in this transaction, I can use five coupons. 
but all I had left was my, I meant to do the um, Bic deal one more time and I just got busy and I didn't have time to. All I had left was my $10 register rewards that I earned last week off Listerine. And I don't believe you can use that register reward to pay for this since this is a two month long deal. If it was a weekly deal that reset, then I could have used it, but it's actually an ongoing two month deal. So I'm not risking it. So I paid $20.05 cash out of pocket. Of course, I just used my PayPal debit card like I always do. I earned back $17.35 in Walgreens cash. So I earned back five for spending 10 on Listerine. I earned back five because I spent 25 on that digital booster. And then I earned seven for the paper Catalina spend booster of spend 30 earn um, $7. The Catalina machine, you know the little sound it makes when it's getting ready to print out a register reward? It did the little click, click, and then nothing happened. How whimsy. So no register rewards printed for me. <sighs> Cashier said, I think there might be something wrong with it because it hasn't been printing anything all day. <laughs> I was like, oh, dang it. So I had her get the manager. The manager came over. The manager pulled up the ad. I said, well, you're not going to see this in the ad because it's actually a special promotion that you're running. I did have my copy, the ad that printed out of the Catalina machine for me. And I showed her that. Of course, the first thing she said was, well, it's probably because you used coupons. We know they always say that because they don't know. They don't understand. I said, no, I highly doubt that that's the reason um, because you can always use coupons and still earn back a register reward. I said, the other deal for the $3 register reward, that was, is in your ad. And she said, well, you can't earn back two rewards for the same deal which she's not incorrect. And I said, well, normally, yes, that is correct. But I think because this is a special promotion that's running for two months and this is a weekly promotion, I should have been able to earn back both. As I've told you several times, I do not argue with store employees. Yep, I know their system way better than they do. Nobody wants to be told that a customer knows something more than they know. That never goes over well. She said, I can go ahead and issue you the $10, but I can't give you the $3 because it's the same thing. And I said, you know what? That's perfectly great. I appreciate you so much. This poor store has had so much trouble. They had two no call, no shows today. Like they were just running around like chickens with their head cut off. I felt so bad for them. So she did go ahead and issue me $10 in Walgreens cash. So now I have $138 in Walgreens cash. So I will either contact customer service about the $3 register reward that did not print for spending $15 on those products, or I'll submit a ticket to Catalina for them to mail me my $3 register reward. But I'll get my $3. It's totally fine. But it always is a bummer, especially for me when I'm trying to show you guys deals and how they stack when something doesn't work. <laughs> but we all have times where the Catalina machine goes down. It just is what it is. It's a computer. We can't control it. Maybe the store was having issues. I'm not sure. So then I went to a different store to do my second transaction just because this store didn't have some of the stock of these products here. And I went ahead and did the Shea Moisture deal of spend 25, earn $10 in Walgreens cash. And I paired that in with the Charmin deal of purchase four. There's Bounty and other Charmins included as well. Um, buy four and earn back a $6 register reward. So let's take a look at my receipt. There are my buy one, get one half price on the body wash products. There's my four Charmin and I had the cashier scan them all separately but they will always show up when they are like items on the same line. So you can see four at $4.94 for $19.80. There's my curl enhancing smoothie for $3.99. And then there's my kids detangler for $9.49. I used two of the $5 Shea Moisture coupons. My digital coupon for $6 off three Charmin came off. My digital coupon for $1 off one Charmin came off. 
and my $10 register reward did not kick them out. I was so excited. My subtotal was $21.26. I went ahead and used $20 in Walgreens cash to pay. So I used Walgreens cash on a spend deal. That brought my subtotal that I had to pay down to $1.26. I love low subtotals like that. I earned back $15 in Walgreens cash. I earned back $10 for spending $25 in the Shea Moisture products. And I earned back $5 for that weekly digital spend booster of spend $25, earn $5 in Walgreens cash. You can also do the spend $40 or the spend 100. So I did these both these transactions on both accounts. That digital booster is multi-use as I told you in the intro. So this transaction, I, I didn't even go over final number. I'll go over final numbers for the first transaction in just a second. So this transaction cost me 31.26. My subtotal plus my rewards used. So $31.26, even though I only paid $1.26, which is so awesome. I earned back $15.28 in Walgreens cash. I did get my $6 register reward for um, buying the four Charmin. And then I submitted my receipt to Fetch Rewards and earned back the additional $10. They picked up all my Shea Moisture products. No problem. I did not have to correct my receipt. So this transaction cost me $31.26. I earned back $31.28, which makes all four of these Charmin and my Shea Moisture products free plus a two cent moneymaker. My favorite part of this transaction is that I paid $1.26 in a subtotal. All right, let's go over. I didn't go over final numbers for you on this transaction. So this transaction was $30.05 was my cost because my subtotal plus my two register rewards that I used. So it cost me $30.05. I earned $17.35 in Walgreens cash back plus the $10 that the manager issued me. And then I earned back $2 from Ibotta. 50 cents for the Neosporin, 50 cents for each one of the Band-Aids. And I had a little bonus um, when you purchase both of them, you get an extra 50 cent bonus and then submitted my receipt to Listerine for another $10 Visa gift card. That makes this transaction free plus a $9 and 30 cent moneymaker. Now, once I get my other $3 back for spending 15 on the Band-Aid and Neosporin products, it'll make it free plus a $12 and 30 cent moneymaker. So combined here, everything you see on this table was free plus a 932 moneymaker or a 1232 moneymaker. Once I get my $3 back, how fantastic is that? I'm loving these transactions. Again, I didn't have a ton of time to shop today, so I definitely will be going back. And then the last reminder that I did want to give you, because again, and I tell you this in like every single video that we talk about, uh, spend deals with register rewards, but people get so confused when it is spend 15, earn a $3 register reward on Band-Aid products, you can pay with Walgreens cash. It never matters how you pay when you are earning back a register reward. You will still earn back your register reward. That includes the spend 30, earn a $10 register reward. You could buy $30 worth of product and use $20 in Walgreens cash and still earn back your register reward. It never matters how you pay when you are earning back a register reward. It does matter how you pay when you are earning back Walgreens cash. But again, we already know there is a link in the description box where I go over exactly how to use points on a spend deal and still earn your Walgreens cash back. Walgreens couponing is super duper simple if you just do it and pay the cash. But if you want to get a low out of pocket like I did, $1.26, you make sure that you have the right amount of products, first of all, and then you make sure that your coupons total your spend requirement because all of these coupons count in the system as cash paid. So according to the system, I paid $27 in cash 
which qualified me to earn back $10 for the Shea Moisture and $5 for the Digital Booster. That's why I was able to go ahead and use $20 in Walgreens cash and still earn all my Walgreens cash back. All right, that's what I got for you today. Again, happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there. I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you, and I'm going to see you again soon. Bye!